Hey, hi there, Leo. Welcome to my channel. I'd like to thank you for tuning in to those energies and influences that are coming through for your monthly reading for September 2019. Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising, this is a condensed general reading. Please only take those portions that resonate with you. Okay, Leo, off camera to save time, I've done a protective blessing. I've meditated over and shuffled these cards just for you. Your first card, it's the general atmosphere. It's the background and the basis of the matter. Knight of Cups, Leo, water energy. Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, sun, moon, or rising. It can also be Venus. Okay. This is someone that's bringing an offer. Could be, might bring you joy. Could be an offer of help. It's also a card of romance. This is following your emotions and continuing on working on yourself. This is, do not be surprised if you change your priorities and go with your emotions. It's happy emotions and pleasant surprises. This could be a person that brings a message about love. They're dreamy and emotional and they chase a dream. They're making advances, propositions, invitations. This can represent your true love, your Mr. or Mrs. Wright, your knight on a white horse. This is at least a good friend, and they're honest, intelligent, and they're willing to come to your aid. They're romantic, and they're looking for love. They can be fickle and full of conflicts. There's emotion emotional intensity here. They're a spiritual seeker. They can also be an artist. They're also a flirt. They're impulsive, and they follow their heart and dreams, and they share their vision with others. This is a soul connection. This is someone that represents spiritual aspirations, a quest for truth. This can be an event. It's often a proposal of marriage or a proposition in the field of art or even a rival in love. But romance is about to occur. A strong passion for someone. It's sincere emotion. It's following your heart, making amends and offering forgiveness. Your second card, and this is the energy that's crossing over your path. The Knight of Swords, Leo. This can be an Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra, Sun, Moon, or Ascendance. This is a person that's blunt and abrupt. They involved with mental work. They're a real overthinker. They can be a good counselor. They speak with eloquence, and they give sound advice. They're fair, and they always speak the truth, so listen for the correct approach. This is someone that's objective and logical, intelligent. They're fair, they're authoritative and assertive, and they seem emotionally distant. They're a direct communicator, and they're upfront with the truth, a very clear thinker. His decisions are based on careful thought, and he knows his own truth, and he will not bend to peer pressure or societal norms. He has very high ethical standards. This is someone that knows something. They have a connection. This is being logical and clear, sharp and objective. They take time to reason with others. And they're candid with their observations. Your third card. And this is how it affects you. It can be your attitude. The Queen of Swords, Leo. This is the divine counterpart to the King of Swords. Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini, Sun, Moon, or Rising. This is an independent, mature lady with authority. They're strong-willed. They provide solutions as well. They teach us to accept life as it is. This can be a teacher or a communicator. This can be a professional it's someone that has great clarity of thought. This can also indicate pursuing your desires with strength and maturity. This is someone that treasures solitude, and they're able to overcome loneliness by doing independent projects. They have a very sharp, keen mind, and they're able to see justice and fairness. The butterflies represent transformation, and the wind passing through the trees represents symbols of the ongoing nature of change. 
This is someone that loves to share their knowledge. No one can trick her or fool her. This is someone that speaks the truth. And they can also be cutting with her words because she thinks it's okay to just blurt out the truth if it's a truth. So be clear in your decisions and your behavior and make sure your point of view is thought through. And this is a woman that has perfect mastery over the air, words, thoughts, opinions. You are like this queen or you are well on your way. This is someone that has a strong will and determination and she has supportive strength. This can be a person who is loyal and true around you and they give good advice because they are wise and worldly. And now your fourth card. It's the position of the future. It's the outcome, the results, and the advice. The Ace of Wands, Leo. This is fire energy, which is your element. This is a new beginning in creativity, excitement, passion. It's pure creativity and inspiration, conception, birth. This fire energy represents action, animation, constant renewal and growth, ideas, creation. This is ignition. It's the beginning of enterprise and business and arts, finance. It's high passion in relationships, so be open for the new. This is a way out of hard times, a spark of inspiration, a gift from life, a very positive new beginning. This new opportunity is a seed to be nurtured. It's a bright new idea. A burst of creative energy, a source of inspiration, excitement, enthusiasm, and the energy for something new. So be courageous. This is new life both literally and metaphorically. In a love reading, this indicates high passion and excitement and fun. In your career, look for opportunities to be creative. With all aces, this opportunity must be grasped to come to fruition. And this is a great potential for success. You may have started something new or you're working on an old project that will finally bear fruit. This is a call to do something actively or to let something happen. You will find the answer in the doing. So show who you are and what matters to you. Carpe diem, seize the day. And now your fifth card. It's the bottom of the deck card. The underlying issue. This is what's unseen. Number 10 of the Major Arcana in the Rider Waite deck, the Wheel of Fortune. Here you are as well, Leo. This is an unexpected course of events. This is a good omen. It carries karmic hope. It's destiny and fate, inevitable fate. This card is ruled by the four elements. You, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Taurus. They're the fixed signs that hold steady towards the inevitable. This surprise circumstance may have nothing to do with what you either deserve or have worked to achieve because life is given a gift. And next to the Ace of Wands, it's very good. You must make a choice to accept what is offered even if you don't understand it in the meaning of the light and the other events in your life. This is a gift that goes beyond reason and logic. It's a gift of the spirit, and change is inevitable. This is a karmic lesson to be learned here. Stay calm when things seem to be spinning out of control. You're becoming unstuck. This is a change for the better. You may feel an urge, be inspired to do something a bit different. Go with that feeling. This card with the the Ace of Wands is a creative new beginning that's going to bring you financial gain. Now your advice from the Oracle deck, Trust Your Vibes by Sonia Choquette. Leo, you've got See the Solution, card number 46. See the Solution. Your vibes not only help you tune into the flow of life and provide guided feedback, about your soul's direction, they also broadcast your thoughts and feelings which act like magnets and attract back to you the equivalent of what you send out. 
Masterful six sensory beings work out their imagination muscles daily by visualizing exactly what they want. They focus on solutions rather than on problems and constantly strive to improve their ability to observe them in their mind's eye. Your guides advise you to do the same right now. No matter what you're facing, know that there is always a solution, even if you can't see it immediately. The key is to practice seeing perfect solutions in your mind's eye. In fact, practice seeing as many as possible. The more solutions you can visualize, the quicker you will attract the best one for you. This is a proactive use of your vibes and makes life much more exciting. I hope you see what I mean. Thanks, you guys, Leo. I hope you stay tuned in and leave me a comment or a thumbs up, and please subscribe. Now remember, what goes around comes around, so I'm sending you out love and light and blessings. Thanks for watching.